I first got into playing golf when I came to the US and my grandpa bought me lessons. It was intimidating at first because I wasn't that good, but then I wanted to beat all the boys. I got their respect when I started beating them. <laughs> I'm definitely a shy person. I'm very introverted into myself. I hate talking in front of crowds. It took me three times to pass public speaking. <laughs> My first speech was really bad because I ended up saying, I can't do this and running out of the classroom and throwing up. <laughs> I don't like it when the attention's on me. I don't like the spotlight. Um, at first they were like interested in my where I was from and like where my accent was from. And then I kind of got picked on for, for having an English accent. So that made me feel like sad because I was the odd one out and I was from a different place and I felt like I didn't belong there. I think from being bullied, I definitely have less confidence. I think golf definitely helps with my self-confidence. When I'm on the course, I'm very confident and I put a lot of pressure on myself because I have a lot of expectations and um, I know what I'm capable of. I'm putting in the effort and the practice and I feel like I need to see the results but sometimes you don't see them. I wasn't really like competitive with other players, I was more competitive with myself. The thing about golf that makes me most nervous is failing. Being a, an athlete, um, you definitely have to have tough skin because you lose more than you win. And definitely with golf, it's a very mental game. You have to stick it out even though you're playing bad and just get through the round and not look back and just look forward. A lot of girls don't play golf at all. It's definitely a male-dominated sport and um, it's not like volleyball or cheerleading, it's um, a definitely a different environment to be in. Sometimes I feel like an outsider just because there's a lot of men, but I really do wish that more girls would play and younger people would play because it's such an awesome game. Women have definitely become more accepted in playing golf, uh, but I think we definitely have a long way to go. There are still courses today that women are still not allowed to play on. So the first year of collegiate golf at South Florida was definitely a struggle because I was balancing sorority life and being a student athlete and also trying to maintain a decent GPA. So I think I lost a little bit of my passion for golf because I just bit off more than I could chew. And after two years, I decided to transfer to Cal Poly. Transferring to a school in a different state was hard because I miss my family so much because I'm really close to them. It was really daunting because I didn't know anyone here and it was a new place for me. But my team really welcomed me and they became my home away from home. My favorite part about being at Cal Poly is being on a team where everyone is as passionate as each other. To me, passion means going out and giving 100% to what you're doing and never giving up. I never really thought of it as a success story. I thought I was just living, you know? But looking back now, I see things that I didn't see when I was in the moment. Like the fact that I came from a different country. 
I realized that really took some courage now. I adjusted to a new school, I was bullied, I was teased, and because of that I started to feel poorly about myself. I kept putting myself out there, even if it made me uncomfortable. But now looking back, it made me stronger. That was persistence, and I'm proud of that. It was hard when I first came to Cal Poly, but I think being able to rely on golf to help me integrate into a new environment was what got me through. It was kind of my saving grace. I love golf because it has built my confidence over the years. Confidence allows you to make those big decisions in life. It's the thing that makes you go on that date or nail that interview. Everyone has their passion and we should all live a passionate life. It doesn't matter about your mistakes and what you have done, it's what you haven't done. Golf has been a tool for me. It means to an end, and that end being happiness. My passion for golf and life in general has been my driving force. It's always been there for me. It's always given me confidence. It's been an outlet for me to get out in the spotlight, to be proud of my accomplishments. I wouldn't be anywhere today without it, and I'm very content where I am today. I'm Lucy Robson, and my quality is passion. Nice try! You got close to it, I saw you. Yeah. You got close to it.